Hello and welcome back to Learn S Bomb. Today I'm going to be reviewing the tool GitHub S Bomb. GitHub S Bomb is a GitHub CLI extension that outputs JSON S Bombs either in SBDX or Cyclone DX formats for your GitHub repository. The SBDX output uses the dependency graph S Bomb API, which generates the S Bomb server side and it works for large repositories. The Cyclone DX output is generated by assembling the dependency information from the dependency graph GraphQL API. And the Cyclone DX output is slower and may not work for too large of a repository. To install, you're gonna first need GitHub CLI. Uh, you can install that following the GitHub CLI instructions. But once that is installed, you can install the GitHub SBOM extension just by entering this command. Oops, I pasted the shell as well. Now that we have that installed, uh, you can start. Now, once we have that installed, I've went ahead and installed two test director test projects for me to create the SBOM with. First thing is a Java project teammates. Just go ahead and CD into that. And to run the command, you just do GitHub SBOM. And by default, it will create a SBDX SBOM. And it's a very large SBOM, as you can see. And uh, we can try doing GitHub SBOM-C if you want the Cyclone TX version, but it's likely that this won't work because it's a very large project. Either it will take a long time or it just won't work at all. And here's an error, it's timed out because this project is just way too big. But that's okay because I have installed another project. Let's just test it. I've installed Spelt. Let's see if it can create the SBDX XML. That was relatively quick. It's a smaller project. And we can do GitHub SBOM. Let's just clear this first. and it created the Cyclone DX version. So this tool is pretty simple to use. It's integrated into GitHub CLI, so there's not that much setup to do. All you do is run a one line setup if you already have GitHub CLI. If you need to update it, all you have to do is run uh, the remove command from GitHub CLI and it'll remove it and to update it you just install it right back and it should update anything and yeah this tool it's better if you're using the sbdx generator because it's just a lot faster and more stable the cyclone dx as you can see doesn't work for very large repositories and yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here. And then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.